Guys, why don't you hand these out? I want to talk for a moment looking forward to 2021. We are ending 2020, as you all know. We have basically completed this phase of the expansion project. And so we are positioned well to move forward. So looking at 2021, the elders have been praying through what does this look like for us as a congregation to pick up where we're at now and move into the future. So you'll recall that traditionally we have done a a large offering in the spring and then a faith promise for six months. But we are going to modify that moving into 2021. So we believe, let's just lay the foundation, that God is calling us to build a sanctuary. Don't be deceived by the empty seats. There's a large audience watching online. When COVID is behind us and we're all able to gather, we are going to need a new sanctuary, and especially in light of what the Lord's calling us to do. So we're setting our hands to that plow to begin to raise money to build a sanctuary. So what we're going to do is do a monthly pledge for the entire year. So this is a modification to what we've done in the past. It will be a pledge that says, I'm going to give X amount in 2021, and I'm planning on doing it either monthly or in several large sums. You can do it how you want, but the pledge is for the entirety of the year. So Eliminating the large offering and expanding the pledge to all year is a change. But let me just share why that is. So a couple reasons. Some of us like to give in a large chunk, a large one-time gift, and you can still do that. Um, I'll break down some numbers with you in a moment. But by giving the whole year as basically our game plan, and we begin to incorporate this into our budget, it allows us as a congregation, as a body, to know what we can afford moving forward in terms of financing. So in other words, if I say I'm going to give $100 a month, and you say you're going to give $100 a month, and we total up our monthly, what we're committing as a body to do, that gets us a close idea of what type of a mortgage we can carry. Are you with me? So it gives us a little bit better understanding rather than just a large offering that could really vary based on differences. So we're going to do a more long-term, full-year approach. And so I'm asking you to pray about, be led of the Lord, what this would look like for your monthly budget. Don't get hung up on the change. Don't get hung up. If you're someone that gives a large part of your income tax return, just figure the whole annual amount, and then you can give a large sum when when you get your income tax return back. So for instance, let's say your family gave $500 in the expansion offering. And then in the six month pledge, you gave $100 a month. How much money would that be? $1,100, right? 500 plus six months at $100. So it's $1,100 that you gave previously. You can still pledge $1,100. That's $91 a month. Or You could pay $275 quarterly, or you could get your income tax back. You could pay $500. See, it doesn't matter how you pay it. But the concept is saying, I'm committing to this from an annual perspective, and it's going to be something that I am going to follow through with, whether that be monthly, quarterly, or you name it. So that is helpful for the church. That's the approach we're going to take. When are we doing this? We're going to start January will be the first month. So we're going to return our pledge cards between now and the end of January. I'll be reminding you, January is the first month to give. And you're going to use your regular giving offering. It's line number two. It says building expansion fund. You're going to put right on there that This money in this envelope is for the building expansion fund, and we're going to assume, we're going to note that as your pledge for 2021. Okay, so January we start, use your regular envelope, line number two, you write it in and give that in any offering at any time throughout the year. And we're going to join hands, and we're going to begin to lay a large deposit down that we're able to move forward with a building. So there's a lot of you online. You're not getting this handout. Um, We can mail this to you. 
we can uh, get it to you in several different ways. So contact the church office if you would desire one of these pledges. But really, I'm asking for everybody that calls AHC home. If you've been connected online with us and been watching for months, if you're part of our body regularly, you're at home for a season, I am asking everyone to pray through what would God have me do? Because we are a local body that's an expression of his kingdom in Duncannon and Perry County. So we need a new facility. God's calling us to it. So all of us online, in person, pray through what is it that God's going to have me to give and then we're going to begin to give that faithfully to the Lord. Amen. Any questions on this? It's a tear-off card. You're going to keep one for yourself. You're going to drop the other one in offering as you choose. It could be next week. You could say, I already know what the Lord wants me to do. Drop it in offering. We'll be collecting and compiling that. And we're going to see what God does. We're going to believe for favor and believe for a building sooner rather than later. Amen. Amen.